My name is Jerry Jackson, taught at SFA for 50 years, was chairman of the Historical Association here in town for 47 years. So I know a few things about Texas and SFA and Nacogdoches. Most of the problems that SFA has had since its founding are external crises. We didn't get the, the school because of the First World War. And then after the war, everybody felt that they were broke. And so they didn't refund it. And they finally got up to where they would refund it and it's in 21. So uh, it was a touch and go uh, operation. Dr. Birdwell, who was the first president, was elected president in 1917. He didn't even come to Nacogdoches until 1921 because it was just in name only. The school was established. And Birdwell was a very practical man. And so when the doors opened and students, paying students were coming in the door, he said, that's our birthday. It happened to also be his birthday. And so it was the birthday of Birdwell and after the whole events of September the 18th, the faculty had put together a party with cake and, and, and punch and everything. So since that time up until the present, SFA always celebrates with cake and ice cream because it was part of the tradition of the school. They were so exhausted by the time they got it open, they didn't have much time to even celebrate. They just got everything sort of settled, and then the Depression hit. The school fell back, and they didn't have enough money to publish an annual. They had to put uh, teachers on IOU checks and everything because they didn't have the money to, uh, to run the school. But they survived. The, the Depression, they were actually making good, good form. And then World War II. It was a sad time for SFA because the enrollment fell to almost nothing. I mean, it was down into the 200 or 300 student capacity at that time. And then, right after the war, with the new aid from, that came from the government with the GI Bill, our enrollment doubled within two years and then it doubled again, and then it doubled again. So we had an explosion of, first was the, was the people coming back from the war. They were older students. And then second, we had the baby boomers who came in, and they are the ones that gave the flood to the 1970s, and then their children in the 1980s. But enrollment leveled off in the mid-70s, it simply couldn't go on like that. But that has to do with what I contend are the outside forces that governed most of, of SFA's history. It's really remarkable. And the trend uh, these days is very short presidencies, but uh, that's not typical of SFA. We had four presidents in the first 73 years of the existence. That leaves only one chunk that's not continuous there. But when you add Baker Patillo to those four, it covers 85 years of the 100 years in long-term presidencies. They all were presidents for more than a decade. That's most unusual for uh, presidencies around the state and in the nation too. The majority of our presidents have been level-headed. They've been practical. They, they were human beings that were nice to know. And they treated students decently. And so when we had crises, they did not end up tearing up the school like so many other universities. Had we not had the presidents we had, we couldn't have handled them. Well, it's an easier transition into adulthood than you're going to find in an urban school. 
In other words, the majority of people over the years have probably come from the mid-sized towns uh, into SFA. And SFA simply was located close enough to their homes that they could go back when they wanted to, but they had the freedom to come to SFA and to ease into the maturity. You don't get that in urban schools. So that's one thing I would say. And then I think the administration has always emphasized friendliness. And you can't do that with 50,000 students or 70,000 students. I mean, everyone felt that they uh, could walk into Dr. Steen's office. Dr. Birdwell and Dr. Boynton and, and Steen, their office was the first door to the right of the entrance when you came up the stairs. It wasn't down where it is now. So it, it was very, very uh, personal in those years. And I think has tried as best it could to uh, keep that friendliness going.